User disconnected from your channel. We're going to be reacting to Film Theory, One Punch Man, must be stopped. Guys, let me be honest here. With my schedule, I can only pretty much upload like two videos a month. Okay, like it's ridiculous. I don't even remember how to freaking do if videos push anymore. Push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and a 10-kilometer run every day allows you to destroy the moon in a single punch. Dude, we are not even five seconds in the video and you're already putting me ads? Come on. I know this video is like 20 minutes by Jesus. I wonder what like okay. 10 a day would do. I mean, I don't want to push myself too hard, you know? Hmm. I, uh, my train of thought pretty much. What is going on? Is he trolling or what is this? Okay. Everyone's favorite C ranked hero, Saitama. I mean, let's be honest. Who Which wouldn't currently want to now, walk around with the power to level is planets at the end of your arm? Well, that power can now be yours in your phone. Today's episode One Punch Man the Strongest, a new turn based RPG available now for Bruh, iOS and Android. What the is going on? Licensed and How did you get who know One Punch Man the best? Sponsored Recreating all the key events from the first season the, of the anime. And not just. To be fair, sponsor me. Nah, I'm joking. You will lose money if you sponsor me. But yeah, I was. I was it's actually planning on, launch event, on playing which means this game. Actually, I downloaded now, like two days ago. If you I actually want to find out more this game and be a hero ago. for fun, you can so, download One Punch Man the Strongest by wait. scanning the QR code that you see on screen or clicking the link in the description. And don't forget to use the promo code TFTOPM for four superb vouchers, 30 stamina, 10,000 coins, and 10 XP soda twos. Yeah, let's get free stuff, guys. Of One Punch Man the Strongest and remembered all these bits from season one of the anime, I realized that Saitama's heroics actually cause a lot of damage. Damage. And I do mean yes. a lot. I know the show plays some of these moments for laughs, but when you actually stop and do the calculations, One Punch Man has actually killed millions of people. Uh, wait, sorry for pausing, but this video is gonna be long. On this casualty on the meteor, they said that there was no, not only that nobody got killed, also there was no injury which is ridiculous. But the only moment that I would see that Saitama's influence actually killed somebody. No, actually he hasn't. Saitama interacting with the villain or punching or doing something like that. He never actually killed someone. I keep on talking. Maybe, maybe I'm up destroying it multiple times. Don't believe me? Well, hop off that bike of yours for a second, Moomin Rider. Like, he destroys a lot. All the time, like, Saitama's quote-unquote help actually killed more people than it saved. In both One Punch Man the anime and the strongest mobile game, one of Okay, this one. <laughs> okay, I forgot the first episode. This is... Uh, did, did this one? Yeah. This one, I think he did, like, the the fact that he punched the giant one, I think he killed... One of the first villains we're introduced it, to it, is it, it killed some people, a buff yeah. dude bro who's mutated into a giant mass of muscle in an effort to Because be they didn't say that there was no Obviously, casualties Obviously, though, he's wrong. He's defeated death. by Saitama in a single punch, who then gives him this dose of reality. Having overwhelming strength is pretty boring, actually. But I'm not interested in the philosophy of it all. I'm interested in the resulting devastation. When Saitama punches Beefcake, he knocks him back onto the city, crushing even more buildings and killing more people. And all yeah. he has to say about it is, Whoops. it's a perfect showcase of how he doesn't take the consequences of his actions seriously at all. Considering that he likely Unless just killed thousands die. of people. But to know for but. sure, let's do some math, shall we? First of all, to figure out how many people Beefcake crushed as he fell, we're gonna need to find out how tall and wide Beefcake is. There's lots of ways to do this. The simplest is to take this profile shot from the game and do some quick measurements. We see here that Beefcake is standing next to this group of buildings. Doing some rough comparisons, we can tell that Beefcake is around six times the height of the surrounding buildings. But um, something about that didn't seem big enough, so I decided yeah, to go back to the original way anime. Taller than now, that. in the series, the animators play with size and scale a lot. So I decided to go with the biggest scale that I could find evidence for. And it's right here when we see a footprint left behind by Beefcake yeah, imprinted exactly. into a huge portion portion of the city. 12 seconds later. <laughs>
User disconnected from your channel. I thought they evacuated, by the way. But I don't know if uh, they evacuated the entire city. But, but believe it or not, that's the least they did destructive evacuate. thing that we're talking about. Saitama was because pretty much the only later, person that was does still there. Another heroic okay, thing this by one. A meteor that's about to crash land into a different city. Now you might be thinking that Saitama saved the city here. He destroyed the meteor before it was able to yeah, strike the planet. But this that's one, they win, right? confirmed no, that I'm here nobody died. What Saitama did might have actually been worse than letting the meteor hit. See, this meteor is did destroy a lot of crap. So on the Torino scale. Sick to as you on the will, okay? Scale. Some people would be... This is a real system of measurement that looks at an asteroid's Earth diameter really and how likely it is to hit Earth. Weird, Obviously, a 9 on that scale is gonna be really bad. Just for a frame of reference here, a 10 is like the impact that killed the dinosaurs. Now, in that previous theory that mm. I mentioned before, we found that Saitama's meteor was closest to the real-world asteroid 101955 Bennu, which has itself a diameter of 1,608 feet, or 490 meters, and an approximate mass of 170 one billion pounds or 78 billion kilograms this thing is heavier than the entirety of the great wall of china how can you even calculate this is beyond me this is what would happen to tokyo if a hundred thousand kiloton bomb exploded five thousand feet into the air now imagine something that's 240 times worse exactly. here's the good news by punching the You're meteor and causing the explosion the up in the air theoretically saitama would have caused less damage to the impact area this is a concept called air burst a term used in military arms to describe explosives that detonate in the air. It means that the peak energy of the explosion wouldn't be on the ground in the middle of the city. So the absolute worst of that explosion wouldn't be a few moments later one thing i'm realizing about this video i'm learning 10 times more about everything else than the actual show of one punch actually i'm de-learning it because on the show they said that there was a bunch of casualties yes uh, their houses cars got destroyed but nobody died but i'm learning about of everything else how to make a bomb enemy spotted choosing a number here arbitrarily. Assuming that half the meteor was vaporized by his punch, that still leaves 85 billion pounds of meteor left. If that broke up into pieces that were roughly the size of a refrigerator, that would leave over 2 million rocks raining down onto the earth. Yeah, we would be dead. The atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, it Bruh, had a yield of 15 kilotons like of TNT. So at least the rocks won't be as bad ago. as that you particular atomic bomb. So many numbers but, you know, now there's face. 2 it's million gonna... of them all hitting the area at the same no. time. Kind of makes you wish that all the meteor fragments really were just characters like Bang and Boros like they are in One Punch Man the Strongest, huh? And yet somehow... Okay, I realized something. He made this video specifically for the freaking ad. If not, by Christ, he fooled me. Somehow that still isn't the worst thing that Saitama's ever done. No, that honor comes at the very end of the season. See, during the final battle of season one, the alien invader Boros knocks Saitama to the moon. Of course, Saitama's completely unfazed and jumps back to Earth, with the power of his jump creating a massive shockwave on the lunar surface. Why is that a big deal? Well, this single action just doomed all life on Earth. Let let me explain. What? Bro, can you stop with the numbers and tell me why? What are we even listening to? Why? I thought this was gonna be a bit different. I'm still gonna upload this, I don't care. <laughs> I see here there's a lot of numbers. I, I believe he actually did the video in with the intent of promoting the actual app, which fair to him, I would do the same. Okay, I'm not complaining. I wanted to watch another video, but let's be honest here. I don't have the time and plus I have to edit. So to make this more fun, I will end it here and please stay tuned to our next video.